All right, hello everybody, Grady Polson, your family, First Life America. Excited to be sitting here with Deidre Sherman. This is part three of a three-part series with Deidre, who is a $40,000 per month life insurance producer. Uh, if you're looking for to work with someone who has a track record of success and who can coach you to be successful as well, uh, click the link below and you can link up with Deidre. But she's gonna talk to us now. Uh, first part was phone script, second part was a, a, a sales clinic. And now third part, we're gonna talk about your mindset and how you have disciplined yourself to be such a successful entrepreneur. Perfect. So Grady, my mindset really about this business is it's not that deep. Okay. So every day when I wake up, I always have five targets. I always set five targets for the day and make sure that no matter what's going on, I'm focusing on getting those targets taken care of. Okay. And usually it has to do with, if it's a dial date, usually has to do with either how many appointments I'm going to set, how many dials I'm going to complete, how many um, new recruits I'm going to talk to, how many, um, make sure I have my meal prep in order, make sure I get my workout done. Um, because when I set up my day like that, I'm focused on what I can control rather than what I cannot control. Because usually when we start to slip in this business is when we start to think, overthink things. When we start to question, is this really going to work? Um, am I really going to make the money that people are say that they say they're making? Am I really going to be as successful as that person? Absolutely. I mean, the system works as long as you do. So as long as you focus on the process and putting in the work every single day consistently, you're going to be okay. And I'll go over a few things that I do to help me become consistent because I always look at it like this. If I, every week, I make sure that, that I start off my Monday strong because otherwise it's going to have a waterfall effect for the rest of the week. Like, for instance, if I go into the office at 10 a.m. instead of 8 a.m. for a dial day and I don't make the number of, of dials that I needed to make for Tuesday and Wednesday or the number of appointments that I needed to make for Tuesday and Wednesday, then it's going to trickle into my Tuesday and Wednesday of not having enough appointments and then not making the income that I need to make in order to be successful. So here's a few things that I do every Sunday. I usually take off unless I'm traveling. And the reason for that is so I can really rest, recharge, and, and prep for the week. So what I'm doing every Sunday is I'm getting up, going to work out, or usually doing yoga or going for a run, something that's a little bit more relaxing that I can clear my head, I can journal, go to a park with my dog, and then I go to church, and then after church is really when I um, do my laundry, I do my meal preps, I wash my car, I literally do everything on Sunday so that way during the week, I don't even have to think about it. I um, set up every outfit for the week, Monday through Saturday. Nice, very disciplined. <laughs> it's already steamed and ready to go, so literally all I have to do is throw it on. Um, I have my meal preps set up in the fridge Monday through Saturday, and those consist of four ounces of salmon and four ounces of ground turkey. Yes, I eat the same thing every single day. Um, I have my four shots of juice every morning and uh, my protein shake every morning too. But the reason why I do that is because it allows me to think less about what's really not important. Yeah. You know, eating is definitely important, but... I know that um, if I set that up on Sunday, then I won't have to think about, hey, where am I going to eat during the field? Or what if I go to a restaurant and I get food poisoning and then it knocks me out the next two days? So there's reasons why I try to make every decision on Sunday. So when I wake up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning, I don't have to think. I just do. It's good. And then that leads into my morning routines. So every morning I wake up at 5 a.m., I go to the gym for an hour, I come back and read for 30 minutes, and then I get ready for the day. And then I have an hour of sales coaching that I do with Grant Cardone University. And then after that, I'm ready and I go hit the field. That's awesome. That, and, the discipline there and focus is it's equal to the results you're having. Absolutely. Because, and it really is, I mean, whenever I don't produce high numbers 
in that week, it's most likely because I didn't complete the task that I needed to complete. Because like I said, it's a waterfall effect. Yeah. That's great. So tell me, I know you have a big goal as far as from building a client base. And you've talked about that before. What is that, that number that you've, you've I've heard you, sh you share that your goal is for a, to, to build your agency? or not? I'm talking about your agency, your client base too. Mm -hmm. Race to 10,000. Race to 10,000. And that helps out my mindset a lot too because I try not to focus on the, the AP that I'm writing in the home, the money that I'm making because it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I focus on is getting 10,000 clients. So that way when I'm in the field, I'm on a mission and I have a purpose and I'm just, I'm just attacking the field and knocking down doors so I can get in in front of more people to get to my 10,000 clients. And that's why I don't really get worried if people say no, um, because at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, then you're not part of my $10,000, 10,000 clients. I'm moving on to the next person. What does 10,000 clients do for you? What do you see that? What is so that? to me, my goal is to get an integrity deal by the end of next year. That's going to at least get my agency to over 1.5 million per month. Okay. And I like that. <laughs> But you have to have a mission and a purpose in order to be successful. Because the best way I like to describe it is, I mean, especially nowadays, we all have a GPS on our phone. After this, I'm gonna go to Chop House and get a lunch, right? But in order to get there, I have to know where my destination is. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be driving circles until I find Chop House. But if I know exactly where I want to go, I'll put it in my maps, and then I can figure out what are the small targets that I need to hit in order to get there. That's great. It's in the, and it all starts with having the discipline on Sunday to set yourself up for a successful week, the discipline to get to the office. You go to an office every Monday and Thursday? Yes, every Monday good. and Thursday. And real quick, that's key. Could tell us. That's key. I think it's so important, especially when your mindset isn't right. And you have to be real with yourself. I mean, I've had many times where my mindset wasn't right. And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to go to the office. And I'm like, no, I know what the office is going to do for me. Because we're surrounded by such positive people that are hungry for more that it's infectious. So you want to make sure that you go to the office every Monday and every Thursday. Non-negotiable. I love it, DJ. That's so true. It changed my it changed my whole mentality by having a place that's designated for me, and then it took time. And now we have an office, and now there's over 200 offices at FFL on track to 400. And so, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for your time, and thank you for your coaching. This is the end of a three part series with DJ Sherman, 40k producer, phone script, in home, and now the mindset. And uh, if you get anything, salmon. And ground, ground turkey, turkey. <laughs> ground turkey, set yourself up for success. But uh, DJ is a tremendous producer. If you'd like to work with her, connect with her. There's a link down below, and uh, we'll happy to connect you up with DJ. With that, thank you for your time. Make it a great day. Bye for now.